Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Juice Baseball channel. Yes, welcome back. I should be back for good, but we can never be sure with technology, am I right? I fixed my PlayStation, I got some parts replaced, and it turned on, and now we're here. So hopefully, as long as it keeps turning on, I'm going to keep cranking out the content for both this channel and the World of Juice Hoops channel, so those series can return now. And the first series that makes its return is the Road to the Show series with Juice. We are back, continuing our second season, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> now in AAA. I'm going to need a little bit of a refresher because, as you obviously know, I have not played this in a minute. So I'm going to need a little bit of a refresher on how we were doing in this second season here in AAA. So, so far on the mound, we've played in four games. Got two saves, uh, allowed three hits, two earned runs, a walk, four strikeouts, got a 450 ERA, and a one whip. How are we doing hitting wise? Had eight at bats, four hits, no home runs, no extra bases. We're hitting 500. Okay, so we're not doing very well on the at the plate, but on the mound, we're doing okay. We're we're doing all right. Not not anything crazy or anything. So let's go view the calendar. We are into late April. We're working it a little bit here. We'll probably finish the month of April, depending on how fast these go. I'm not 100% sure. I'm guessing we'll finish the month, but we are starting at the plate, hitting the three hole at shortstop. I'm happy to be back. I hope you guys are happy too. If you are, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, and let's get back in a big way with the Juice Road to the Show. We are taking on the triple a affiliate for the team that i am the big league uh manager of which is the kansas city royals we're going up against asa lacy who is in the big leagues for our kansas city royals but that's not a good start to the triple a game first game of the day i gotta get warmed up remember i haven't played mlb the show or i haven't played any games really uh on the ps5 in a minute so i gotta get back warmed up get into the rhythm and then once we'll once we get back into the rhythm, then we'll be cooking like we were before we left. So, but let's see if we can get a hit off of Asa Lacy. We know how good he can be from the Royals, and that's going to be a base hit into right field, moving the runner from first to second in the process. And that's our first base hit of the day. Love to see it. Always nice to get a nice base hit. Now let's see if we can get a run scored as well. Asa is a lefty pitcher, and he's going to pop that into right field. That's going to get down, and it is going to be an RBI, or at least an attempt, and he's going to be safe at the plate. Another RBI. 3 nothing for Rochester. I think it's Rochester. Who knows? Drew Mendoza at the plate, and he will strike out swinging. So I don't come home to score, but we do... Get a little bit of base running in the the first game. Bottom three. Back in the field at shortstop. Hit right to me. Alligator it. And then throw it right over to first base for the first out of the inning. And we're back up to the plate. Hitting in the top of the fifth with a runner on first again. Asa Lacy still on the mound. Ooh, that was a good pitch. Good pitch from Lacy. Give me that again and I'll smoke it. Ooh, okay, okay. He gave me one similar, but a little bit higher up. I was a little late on it. Need to get that timing just slightly better. Oh, that curveball fooled me. Good pitch from Lacey. The curveball fooled me. But that's okay, because the next pitch I'm not going to be fooled by. I'm going to hit it into right field, and it's going to get into the glove of the right fielder. That could have been extra bases. Oh, what a diving catch. You got to give your props. Got to give your props to the right fielder there. That was extra bases all the way. And he dove and made a spectacular play. That's going to be a little underhand throw to second. Double play. No, he got called safe. Oh, that's annoying. It goes down as a fielder's choice. That was totally a double play. 
He definitely didn't beat that out. But we can't challenge, so... Ooh, this is gonna be... Is it gonna be to me? It is gonna be to me. Took the easy route. End of the inning. Back in the plate again for Charlie Blackman, who makes his way to the AAA affiliate for the Kansas City Royals, which is really weird. But whatever. And he is gonna be getting into left field. Yeah, I mean, he's a... He's a major league player. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah, he's not hes not very high overall anymore. He's a little older, but he's still a major leaguer. He's still got the skills. I would expect him to get a bunch of hits in AAA. But there are runners on first and second. Nobody out. This is a huge chance for a double play here. And he's going to take a lot of time. We're only going to get one. Second baseman took a lot of time to, th to throw that to me. But they don't end up scoring on that, actually. It's still 3 to nothing. Angel Zerpa on the mound at the top of the eighth. And he feeds me a huge meatball that I just missed completely. Absolutely whiffed on the meatball. We do win 4-1, to one, which is good. But I can't believe I missed so horribly on that pitch. That was crazy. Are we going to be on the mound for the first time in today's episode? We are. We got to get that ERA down. That is for sure. A chance to save this one. Going up against Charlie Blackman. It's not uh, intimidating at all. But we got to get that ERA down. We're hit, We're pitching 450 ERA. That is unacceptable. Especially when we're trying to get called up to the big leagues. They're not going to call us up with a 450 ERA. And we can't locate our pitches. Come on, Juice. Figure it out. We'll go with the knuckle curve. See if we can catch him off guard there. Ooh, he was a little out in front of that, I think. No, he's late on it. Okay. We'll go with the Vulcan. See if we can catch him sleeping on the Vulcan. And he got it. He went around. No. Old mustache. What are you talking about? He totally went around. All right. We'll throw him the high heat. The stinky cheese. And he sends that back up the middle to the shortstop. And first out of the inning. Good job. Beautiful. John Rave. Sorry to burst your bubble, but there is not going to be a rave today. Let's throw him a curveball here. Maybe catch him slacking on the curveball, and we certainly did. He was not expecting to, to swing at a curveball. 1-1 one, one count. Here comes the cutter. Hardly nowhere. And that is also called for a strike. We'll get the knuckle curve, little knuckler action in there. And that, hey, man, he is, <laughs> he doesn't know what to think. A ton of off-speed stuff. Here comes the heat. And he stared at it. Strike three. Generous strike, but it's strike three nonetheless. Two down in the inning. Clint Coulter, hardly know her, at the plate. Stares at a fastball for strike one. Here comes the cutter. Ooh, he stared at that one too, but he doesn't get called strike two. We'll go Vulcan. Not many people can time the Vulcan. And he stares at it. Final strike of the inning. Cutter. Got him swinging. Strike three. Ball game. Another save in the books for the Juice Man. You love to see it. Love adding those saves to my resume. The only way that we'll get called up is by performing on the mound because we are not very consistent at the plate that is for sure back on the mound for a third game winning five to three bottom nine thomas nido at the plate nido i don't know how to pronounce his name but he gets into right field first pitch swinging and that's a base hit runner on first nobody out for chris beck Ooh, got him checking on that fastball we'll throw him the vulcan doesn't go for it. a little low a little low it's okay Throw him a curveball. Maybe get a, a double play pitch. That's not a double play pitch. That is into the right center gap. And that is an RBI double. Even with 25 speed, he's going to give an RBI double. With nobody out in the inning, that is not the ideal situation. We got to try and hold this lead here. I don't want to blow a save. I only blew a few saves in double A. And they were mainly not my fault. I'll stand by that. I don't want to blow one in AAA, but we are on track to do so. I can't figure this out. There's the cutter. Ah, oh, you got to swing at that. Pull the trigger, my guy. How do you not swing at that? There's the Vulcan. 
missed it. That's strike war. That's uh, strike three out number one. But unfortunately, we can't rely on a double play here. We have to try to rely on another strikeout or something where he doesn't move the runner to third. Because I really don't want to have the stress of having a runner on third. And that's going to be a foul ball into their their uh, dugout. Here comes the cutter. Oh, he was way out in front of that. Jeez. Jake Means was sitting fastball, and he got a cutter and was way out in front of that. He gets a cutter here. Go foul, go foul, go foul, please. Thank you. Ooh, he is ready for that cutter. I'm going to throw him the knuckle curve, and he just makes contact with it. All right, I threw the curveball last time. It resulted in a double. That could have been disgustingly bad. That could have been a walk-off right there. That's going to be into right field. It's going to get caught, but I'm assuming he's going to tag. Oh, he stays. Thank you. Oh, man, the right fielder's got a cannon on him. I'm just happy that the second base, the guy on second did not run because that could have ended bad for me where he could have got to third. But now we're sitting two outs, runner on second. I'm back in control with an 0-1 count. Oh, how do you stare at that and not swing? Unbelievable. The temptations I'm giving this man. That's in the left field. That's going to be a tie ball game. I just blew the save. Oh, I just blew the save. I just blew the save. And I get pulled. Oh, it's a nightmare. And they won the game, too. I probably get the loss. I do get the loss. Oh, my God. I just had the nightmare scenario happen. Oh, that's the worst that could ever happen. That's the worst that could happen, man. A blown save and a loss? Are you kidding me? We get a chance for redemption here. I don't really even know what went wrong in that at bat or in that that game. I just I started out bad and I I ended bad. That was just disgusting performances all around from me. And I was talking about how the only way. Oh my God! How did I catch that? I was talking about how the only way that I was gonna get called up is if is on my is on the mound. But if I'm putting in performances like that then there's no shot they might just send me down <laughs> they might send me back to double a i don't deserve to get called up if i'm putting in performances like that that was disgusting i can't believe i even i can't even believe that i even did that but we are we are getting lucky here in game what is this game five i don't even know that's gonna be a one two three inning i got lucky with that double play Oh no, what are you doing, third baseman? You had a routine play to first, and you threw him off the bag? Oh my god. I'm selling. I'm not even the one selling. My team's selling. You gotta be kidding me. If I lose this game because the third baseman didn't throw it accurately to first in a routine play that he makes every single day except for today? I cannot lose this game. I cannot have two save situations in a row that I blow and then end up losing the game in the process. Thank God. Swings on the cutter. I think I've gotten Clay Duggan on the cutter many times in this episode. But that is a save. Oh, that's a good way to bounce back. That might be the end of the series, too. But that is... Nope, we got one more game at least. That is a good way to bounce back after blowing the save. And it looks like we're going to be at the plate today. Against Lacey again? Yeah. We come full circle. We're playing against Asa Lacey again, but we got runners on first and second. Nobody out in the top of the first. The boys are swinging the baseball bat today, and that is the first out. So I could not advance the runners because I suck. But now we've got the bases loaded. Two outs, top of the second. And I'm swinging for the fences. That one's going to be... No runs scored. How am I so bad? How do I suck so much? Am I DHing? I might be DHing. How do I suck so bad that I've had runners in scoring position multiple different occasions and I haven't been able to come out with a single RBI? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I've had runners on first and second. I've had bases loaded. I've had runners on first and third. And I didn't come away with a single RBI out of all that. Well, at least we found out I'm not DHing. Absolutely unreal. Ooh, that was a kind of a clean throw right there. 
I might have to get that on, on a little action replay. Let me see some some little juice action here. Mmm. Look at that. That's some... That right there, that's some crispiness. Let me zoom in on the juice man right here. Look at that. Look at the crispiness of that throw. You know he means business. Let me get a little screeny of that. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. So we're back at the plate. Another runner on base. They just asking me to get RBIs, but I can't. I can't deliver. I cannot deliver on the ribbies. We're going up against a man with the last name of Bacon, so we gotta fry this man's career. There we go. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. The timing is just not there. That's the cost of not playing MLB The Show for, I don't know, like two weeks, three weeks, whatever it was. That's the cost. The timing is, is gone now. I, I would have smoked that baseball if I was in my prime. And now I have a meatball down the middle, and I pop it up to shallow center for the second base, the shortstop to go get, or is it the second, the second baseman to go get? Whoever it was. doesn't matter. All that matters is I didn't do anything with it. And now I have a chance to not go 0 for 5. Oh my god, 95 and I'm that late? What am I doing with my life? This is out of control. This is unbelievable, the amount of embarrassment that I'm feeling right now. 1-1 one, one count. Come on, Juice. Get on the right track. You've got to be joking. Why am I so late on the timing? What is happening here? The timing is out of control. And I swung at that. I swung at that? Oh my god, I can't. I can't even right now. That's the end of the series, which maybe it's for the best, but that is just disgusting performances all around from the mound to the plate. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they called me down a trip to double A. Like, what are we doing here? That was just, I didn't even look like a, a professional hitter. That was disgusting. Absolutely embarrassing. Man, I gotta redeem myself here. So I'm coming in with a save situation. I guess that's good. Try to redeem myself at some point. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. I don't even wanna look at my numbers anymore. It just makes me sad. We got a two run lead, bottom nine. All I gotta do is get three down. Three up, three down, that's all I gotta do. All I gotta worry about. And it starts with Zach McKinstry. And he's down way out in front of that Vulcan. You were sitting fastball, weren't you? Alex Ramirez is up. He's 0 for 3 today. Not had a good day. I know how that feels. But let's uh, let's get you down for 0 for 4. Why not? How do you how do you how do you think about that? Let's get you 0 for 4 today. Doesn't chase the cutter. Nobody goes down low, really. Except for that uh, Clay Duggan, dude. He always chased my cutter. Here comes the Vulcan. He barely makes contact with the Vulcan. I hate when they just barely hit the ball. It's so annoying. Way out in front of the cutter. Catcher's going to go after it. Is he going to make the play? Is it going to be out of play? Unreal. Nothing can go right for me, can it? Doesn't even go after the knuckler, although it was a very bad pitch. Very poor. Poor location on the cutter, on the knuckler, but that is going to be in the left center. Please make the play. He does. Out number two. Ronnie Mauricio. Hey, we got some connections with good old Ronnie from his days in Cincy. We know how good he can be when he develops. But this is the this is the prequel. For Ronnie Mauricio. This is his, his uh, story, how it begins. There's the Vulcan. He grounds that to shortstop. And that is going to be the third. Oh my god, my team sucks. You've got to be kidding me, bro. You guys sell me all the time. No wonder I give up saves left and right and I blow stuff. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Earlier, 
We had the third baseman not be able to throw accurately. Now we got the shortstop doing the same. What are we talking about here? I'm going to have an aneurysm. I'm going to have gray hair. Luckily, as long as the right fielder makes this play, and he does, I hold on for the save. That's something, at least. Man, I can't believe how bad that series went against the Storm Chasers. Back on the mound again. 3-2, to two, so it's a little bit closer this time. But we're going up against the 8-9, and nine, and Darren Ruff sends that ball into right field. Absolutely smoked it into right field for a leadoff single. Right over the first baseman's head. And now it's a bunt situation? Tell me we can get a double play out of this. We can't. We just tagged the runner at first. Okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. Kevin Kendall, is that who it is? Kevin Kendall is up. He's hitting 208 with runners in scoring position this season. He's one for four. I'm not scared. Not scared of this Kevin. Ke anybody with a Kevin and a Kendall, anybody with two first names, not to be trusted. Ooh, we barely tipped that off. Tip? Wait, what happened? I skipped. Replaced due to injury? We won the game. But more importantly, your boy got injured. Hold on, I gotta see that replay. Uh, ninth inning, me, apply filter, all plays. Um, hello, can I see my injury? Or can I not see it? I guess since it wasn't a play, I can't see it. Next, sacrifice. Yeah, I can only see these two things. Oh, that's stupid. What? Injured? What do you mean injured? How long? Is it just a couple days? Is it, is it an elbow strain? What is it? I guess we gotta find out. Is he gonna tell me? Am, am I gonna figure out what my injury is? I'm not on the injured list. What happens if I hit play? Play next game. It's not even gonna tell me what my injuries are? I have this game against, I'm back, I guess. It must've just been for a couple days. I have no idea. That freaked me out for a second. I thought I was gonna be done for the season. All right, so we're finishing up the series against the Syracuse Mets. I'm assuming that's what their name is. I don't know. But then this'll be the final game of the episode as I come back with a nice base hit. Oh, you should've went home. I needed that RBI for my, for my stats. <laughs> I need that RBI for my stats, but that's okay. I'm just glad that whatever the injury we suffered in that last game on the mound, it wasn't too serious. We only missed a few games. That's all I care about. I don't need to pick up any long-term injuries. I don't need to have Tommy John or anything. That would have been crazy. If I would have, like, blew out my elbow or something. Oh, you gave me the meatiest of balls, and I send that to foul territory, which you get, which you catch. Are you kidding me? How do you, how do you give me, how do you look me in the eyes and give me that pitch, and I can't do anything with it? The audacity to give me that pitch and and know that I won't be able to do anything with it. I'm just so late on the timing. I can't figure it out. I'll get back to it, but it's just once I get more reps. But I just can't get the timing down today. Today is not my day. That is for sure. It is not my job. Not swinging at that good eye, good eye. Come on, Juice. You got to get that average back up to where it was. You got to be get some RBIs. You gotta impress the team, and you're not you're not doing that. You're getting a double play to end the inning. Alright, that wasn't even end the inning. Oh man, Juice, what are we doing here? I mean, you're just embarrassing. You can't hit. You can't pitch. Why are you even getting contracts? Like, what's going on here? I have no idea what's going on. I'm just as confused as all of you guys. Top of the ninth. We have a chance to take the lead. If I could just do something. 
Oh my god, I cannot handle this upsetting nature that I am having right now. I am... What? I am late on a pitch I know is coming? And I grounded into a double play. Again. Yeah, this, uh, this episode has not gone my way. We're into extras now. Bottom 10. Nobody out. Runner on second. This is a dangerous situation. It's going to be to me, which means we can hold the runner at second. As long as I make the right play. At least I haven't had any problems in the field. That's about the only bright spot I've had so far in this episode. Ooh, we've got the lead back. We've had a rally here in the top of the 11th. That's a good sign. Runner on second. Two outs. A chance to add another insurance run. But I'm at the plate, so it's probably going to be the third out. Probably going to be the third out. I can't believe that my only strong suit was pitching, and I haven't even been able to do that very well in today's episode. 0-2 oh, count. Two outs. Come on, Juice. Deliver an RBI. What am I swinging at? Why am I the worst player to ever pick up a controller? Oh, my God. Absolutely embarrassing, man. I'm just the worst. There wasn't even a, a like a question that I was going to hit that ball. Hopefully we can get the win. And we do. We hold on for the win. Did they end up scoring that run? They didn't. They didn't end up scoring that run. At least I got one hit in that in that game. And I didn't go hitless again. That would have been just the icing on the cake. Why am I progressing in any stats? I didn't I didn't play it good enough to deserve progressing, but we do make it to the end of the month. We've got one more game to finish out the month next episode, and then we'll get a uh, hopefully a good chunk into uh, May. So that is going to do it for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I am back now on these channels on MLB The Show on NBA 2K. So hope you guys are excited about that. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.